the any function. Now the any function simply tells you if any of the values in an iterable object result in true or equivalent to true. Now if we're looking at the numbers list right here, we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. 0 would be a falsy value. 1, 2, and 3 would all be equivalent to true if they were to be converted to a boolean. So when I print any on numbers, it just looks at all of the numbers, and if even just one of the values inside of this iterable is true, then it returns true. So in this case, we would get true. Now another way that we can use the any function is by actually having a comprehension inside of it. So what I'm doing here is I'm looping through all of the numbers in my next numbers list, and I'm checking if any of them are greater than zero. Now this is going to give me an array inside of here that has true and false for all of the respective values that are inside of numbers, and then we're checking if any of those are true, well then this whole thing would return true. In this case, none of them are, so we would get false. Next, we can do this with strings. Same thing, I can check if any of the strings are empty, and if they are, then we can return true. Notice that this is a much faster way to check for the presence of a value, and also allows you to write some more readable code, because you can write expressions in one line, whereas normally to do this, to check if any of the values are true or equal to something, you need to write an entire for loop, go through, set a flag, see if something is true. Now another example usage here is something like checking for the existence of files. So what I'm doing here is looking if any of these files here exist inside of the current path, if they do, then I will return true, right? So another useful thing you may potentially want to do.